The evolution of Starbucks, from a single coffee store to a global icon. In the early 1970s, Starbucks was just a single coffee store in Seattle's Pike Place Market. The company's founders, Jerry Baldwin, Zev Siegel, and Gordon Boker, were passionate about bringing high-quality coffee to their customers, and they quickly gained a following among coffee lovers. But did you know that the original inspiration for Starbucks came from a trip to Italy? The founders were so taken with the Italian coffee culture and the idea of sipping espresso in local cafes that they decided to bring that experience to Seattle. And thus, Starbucks was born. The inspiration for the original Starbucks logo, which was created in 1971, came from a 16th-century Norse woodcut of a two-tailed mermaid or siren. In Scandinavian mythology, sirens were known for their enchanting voices and were often depicted as seductive and alluring figures. The founders of Starbucks saw the siren as the perfect symbol for the seductive allure of coffee, and decided to feature her prominently in their logo. In the original logo, the siren was depicted with bare breasts and surrounded by a green circle. Over the years, the logo has gone through several changes, but the siren has remained a constant element. In 1987, the siren was given a more modest appearance, and in 2011, the company introduced a simplified version of the logo, featuring just the stylized siren, free of any circles or text. The Starbucks logo has become one of the most recognizable logos in the world, and the siren continues to evoke the company's commitment to high-quality coffee and its seductive allure. Starbucks is named after the first mate in the classic novel Moby Dick by Herman Melville. The founders of the company were inspired by the name, Starbuck, and thought it evoked the romance of the high seas and the seafaring tradition of early coffee traders. In addition to its nautical connotations, the name, Starbucks, also has a more celestial meaning. According to the company, the name is meant to evoke the romance of the high seas and the seafaring tradition of the early coffee traders as well as the company's own mission to be a place of inspiration and a source of energy. In the 2000s, Starbucks continued its rapid expansion, opening stores in markets all over the world, including Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. And in an effort to appeal to a wider audience, the company began offering more food and drink options, including breakfast items and pastries. Did you know that Starbucks is so popular in South Korea that the country has its own special Starbucks drink? The Green Grapefruit Tea Latte is a unique blend of green tea and grapefruit juice, and it's only available in South Korean Starbucks stores. Today, Starbucks is a global brand with thousands of stores in over 80 countries. And with its iconic green logo and reputation for quality, the company has become a symbol of comfort and luxury for millions of customers.